Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am your muse Tracy and I am here to inspire you and empower you to live the life of your dreams, to create on purpose exactly what you want in all areas of your life, to stop settling and to stop suffering. You are not here to suffer. If that sounds good to you, you're more than welcome to subscribe to my channel. I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching and group coaching. The next group coaching um, session is going to open in about a month or so. And um, so let's talk about one-on-one -on -one coaching because that's available right now. Um, we take a deep dive into your subconscious programming. And we do the work together to change the programming that is effectively covering up and masking your true nature. So I'll take you through the process of cleaning up your programming, upgrading your programming, integrating the creator belief system, releasing stored emotions from the past, as well as teaching you how to honor and process your emotions on an ongoing basis. Unprocessed emotions will keep you stuck. They keep you bound to whatever the event was that you had emotions about and didn't process. So in the coaching program, we meet two to three times per week. And in between the sessions, you have email access to me. It's a very intensive month. I designed it to be intensive so that we are creating real transformation in your life. So it's designed to be this way. And this is, the, this is exactly what my clients experience, real lasting transformation. And so... Um, it is a commitment. It is, you know, sort of intense, but again, I designed it that way. That's the work that I'm interested in doing with my clients so that we can return you back to your true nature of being an effortless and unlimited creator. Most of my clients will stay in coaching two to three months. It's always up to you how long you want to have this level of support. Some people stay longer, some shorter. It's always up to you. If you're interested, leave me a comment down below. I have a couple of free offers also in the description down below. Go and check those out and let's get right into the video for today. So what we are talking about today is the one thing you must master in order to successfully manifest your specific person. And let's just get right into it right out of the gate. What is the one thing you have to master? And that one thing is you. You are mastering you. You are mastering your thoughts. You're mastering your emotions. You're mastering your belief system. So the whole of reality, the, the whole universe is mental. It's, it's a mental experience and it's generated from, from your mind. And so this is not about changing out there. It's never about that. It's never been about that. That's an illusion. So if you still think that you are changing out there, please keep watching and maybe watch this video several times because you really have to get the concept the right way around. Because if you, this is one of the, biggest things that keeps people stuck. They come, they learn about manifesting. Maybe they learned about it because of a specific person. Okay. Very normal, very common. So they have this burning desire for this person and this relationship, this ideal relationship with this person. And they learn that they can do that with manifestation, with law of assumption. Um, and so what do they do next? They learn, okay, well, how, how do I apply this? How do I, um, you know, what, what are some techniques? And so then they start to learn the techniques. They learn about affirmations. They learn about scripting. They learn about visualizing inner conversations. And then they go about starting to apply them. Why? Why did they start to apply the techniques? Because again, they want the relationship and the specific person. And they have a misunderstanding that, you know, they're not changing out there. They think they're changing out there. They think they're changing their specific person's mind. They think that they're changing circumstances. Um, and I can say this with confidence that this is what most people think, because not only is this what I thought for 
some time in my manifesting journey. Uh, but this is what I see in most of my clients, if not all of my clients who come to work with me in the beginning. It's like intellectually, they know that they're changing themselves. But literally, when it comes to the point of doing techniques, they're doing the technique, and then they're looking for some change on the outside. And this will never work. Now, let me be more specific. <laughs> because this can produce some results in your reality. Again, I got some results doing it this way when I still had the idea that I'm changing out there. I, I could get some results. Some things would show up. But, uh, you know, because I wasn't different, it, it would eventually, inevitably fall away, go back to what it was before. It wouldn't last. And so, you know, in a way, this is helpful because you are getting evidence that you are powerful, that you, um, you know, are the operant power, that things are responding to you. But the truth is, you guys, and this is the real message of this video, out there never changes because you are an expert quantum shifter. <laughs> you are an expert parallel reality shifter, whatever you want to call it. You're an expert at shifting through parallel realities. You do it every moment, every millisecond. Anytime you experience any type of movement at all, and what I mean by movement, I mean going from one still frame picture to another still frame picture. I don't mean movement in terms of like your manifestation. I mean like how you can even experience me talking in this video. Movement from one still shot of me to another still shot of me, that's movement that I'm talking about. So each one of those snapshots, still frames, is a parallel reality. So you're, you're masterful, brilliant at shifting parallel realities. You're so good at it, you don't even realize you're doing it, and we all do this. So the still frames, the versions of people, the versions of reality, the versions of circumstances, they're not changing. They're not changing. The snapshots of reality that you're experiencing are always going to be that way, have always been that way, and will always be that way. And so out there, your 3D reality, the external reality is not ever changing, ever, 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 ever. But you change all the time. And you change through your beliefs, your expectations. This is how we kind of shift to parallel realities so effortlessly. Your expectations, your beliefs, your thoughts, your uh, everything going on inside of you, your state of being. State of being is the best terminology that I like because it includes everything. It includes your thoughts, your feelings, your assumptions, your beliefs, your expectations, your pattern of thought. It's everything, right? So your state is what shifts you through these different parallel realities. And this is what the techniques are doing. The techniques are affecting your state of being. So you can do a technique and achieve a change in your state of being. And that's what the techniques are really for. Because again, out there is not changing. Out there is a still frame snapshot that you're moving through all the time. And in terms of a specific person, Whatever version you most recently experienced with your specific person, let's just take the last interaction, that's just one version, okay? There are infinite versions of this person, and how you go and experience a different version is by shifting your expectations, your beliefs, your assumptions, your concept of yourself. That's huge because what you believe about yourself will cause you almost automatically to expect something different from the other person, right? 
let's dive into this a little bit because this is something that I see um, getting misunderstood so much. So let me dive into this really quickly about self-concept and why it's so important when you're manifesting your specific person because as I've already said in this video, you're never changing out there, you're changing you. So if your concept about yourself isn't great, meaning you don't love yourself fully through and through, like you haven't developed this self-acceptance and self-love, how are you going to then focus on a version of another person that loves you and accepts you fully and completely? You never will. You never will. What you feel about yourself, how much you love yourself, how much you accept yourself is what you will expect how you will expect other people to love and accept you as well. So if you change how you feel about yourself, if you practice loving yourself, practice accepting yourself fully and completely, only then you can also expect someone else to fully love and accept you. And Here's the trick to this, you guys. I was just um, talking to one of my one-on-one -on -one clients about this the other day. When you're in a vacuum and you're just looking at yourself, a lot of times we have a higher self-concept in this, you know, um, perspective. When we're just looking at ourselves, we think, "Wow, I'm 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 successful. I'm you know a good person. I'm loving. I'm you know attractive." Uh, you believe all these things. I've got a lot going on for me. So when you're thinking about your self-concept, sort of just about how you feel about you, it's it can be pretty high. It's not always, but a lot of times it's pretty high. You think highly of yourself, which is good. Now, when you look through someone else's eyes and how they see you, sometimes this is where the self-concept isn't as great. You think that the other person wouldn't think as highly of you. You think the other person wouldn't see you as attractive or successful or appealing. You think through the other person's eyes that you're not enough. You think from the other person's eyes, you're not successful enough, pretty enough, handsome enough, charismatic enough magnetic enough. You're just not enough when you look through the other person's eyes. This is also your self-concept because you're doing that. You're the one looking through the other person's eyes. You're the one making up what you think they think about you. That's your self-concept. It's just staying a little bit disguised because you think that you're justifying it by saying, this isn't what I think about me, this is what they think about me, but you're doing that. You guys get it? So this is your self-concept and it stays a little bit hidden because we think, oh no, that's just what this person thinks about us. And maybe, maybe you even have a confirmation from them, like they've actually told you that, you know, which would, would happen after you've dwelled upon like, oh yeah, this is how they're going to see me. This is how they're going to think about me. This is how they're going to value me. You've already been doing that. And then, yeah, probably at some point you're going to get the verbal confirmation. They're going to come to you and say, I don't know. It's just not enough for me. I don't know. I'm just not magnetically drawn to you. I don't know. I can't put my finger on why it's just not working. Right. But it's because that's the version, the parallel version of them that you aligned with, that you chose through your idea about how they see you. You guys follow? So this is your self-concept. This is also you choosing the parallel version that isn't choosing you, that doesn't think you're the greatest thing since sliced bread. You did that. So now that you did that, we're not trying to change the other person. The other person is just showing up in that version because that's what you expected because of your self-concept, right? So there's no one to change but self. This is about mastering you. 
This is not about changing them. This is not about affirming till the cows come home that they're in love with you. You have to fall in love with you. You have to upgrade your belief system. You have to upgrade your programming. You have to upgrade what you think and believe is possible for you, right? This is all about mastering you, your concepts, your ideas. They are the rules of your reality. So if you are setting up rules such as, I'm just not enough. No one in my reality finds me appealing as a partner or the ones I want don't find me appealing as a partner. This is what you will continue to get evidence of, not because it's true, but because you are the one making the rules. So this is not about going out and being more spectacular, being more, you know, whatever. It's not about changing them. It's about changing you. It's mastering you, mastering what you think about yourself, mastering the rules that you say are so in your reality. And this always starts with understanding you are the operant power, understanding that you have a choice. So your programming that might currently say you're not enough, you're not enough, you're not enough, that programming is not your fault. This is something that I really want to like probably say once a day on this channel and really drill it into you guys. We all have programming, the environment, the people around us from age zero to eight. It all goes in. It creates this structure, this outline, belief system, call it whatever you want. And sometimes this belief system was created um, very directly. You heard people say things to you about you directly, about money directly, about relationships directly. But, and this is a big but, a lot of the programming is indirect, meaning the people in your environment were doing whatever they were doing, probably doing the best they could, maybe. Maybe they were misbehaving. Whatever it is, that's not the point. But the people in your environment were doing whatever they were doing. As a child, you make that mean something about you. You don't have the discerning capabilities to say, they're having a bad day. <laughs> I'm five years old and that doesn't mean anything about me. No, you don't have the ability to do that. So you think, wow, that person is unhappy and acting out and I must have done something. I must be wrong. I must be bad. I must be not worthy. You make it mean something about you because that's really all the um, capacity you have to do at that young age. So we all have programming. The programming is not your fault, but changing it if it isn't what you want to keep experiencing is absolutely your responsibility. And let's change it to make it a more appealing word. It's not just your responsibility. It's your, um, it's your ability to change it. You get to change it. You get to upgrade your programming, like your phone, your computer does an, a software upgrade every so often quite often. When was the last time you upgraded your software to a higher level with less bugs, <laughs> with less, um, you know, faulty programs? When was the last time you upgraded your software so it works better, works better, so that it works more to your benefit, so it has more enjoyable features, more upgraded features. When was the last time you did it? This is your ability. You get to upgrade your software anytime you want, as much as you want. There's no limit. You get to do it again and again and again and again and again. So not even it's your responsibility, it's your gift. It's your gift. You get to do this as much as you want because your programming is not you. You are not your programming. That's just a, a feature that you have as a human. You have this programming that can just sort of run things on autopilot in the background. But maybe your programming is full of things that you don't really prefer. Time to upgrade. Do the upgrade on your own software. 
and do it, do it fully, do it often, do it as much as you'd like for your benefit. Because again, this is about mastering you. We're not mastering out there. We can't master out there. You can't master out there. You can move things around. There's some, you know, of course you can do some physical things, but there's, it's very limited what you can accomplish from physically moving things around, from physically talking, from, right? It's limited. It's limited. But the unlimited capability is what you have in your consciousness. This is your reality. Your specific person isn't going anywhere. They are your creation. So bring it back to you. Master you. Master loving you. Figure out how to love yourself fully. Accept yourself fully. It may be just as easy as recognizing like, wow, for a long time, I believed I wasn't enough. I kind of didn't accept myself fully, but now I realize that was just a bad habit. I don't have to keep doing that. I can actually have all of these wonderful, positive thoughts about myself. I can accept myself. I can love myself. And actually, when I do all of that, out there is going to reflect this change, right? What does Neville say? Change yourself, revalue yourself. I'm paraphrasing. I don't think this is an exact quote. I'm going by memory. Revalue yourself, love yourself, adore yourself. Let's just say upgrade your programming and they will confirm the change. They, meaning your entire 3D reality, will confirm the change that you made on the inside of you. So this is all about mastering you. I'm giving you the secret key here. It's about mastering you. What a relief. You don't have to go change someone else's mind. You don't have to change what they think and feel. That will happen automatically. That will happen automatically when you change you, when you work on you, when you revalue you, when you start to love and accept you. Out there changes automatically. Because let me say it more specifically, out there is never changing. When you change how you value you, you become aligned with the parallel reality where out there is also valuing you. Because that's how this works. As within, so without. That's it for this one, you guys. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if this was an aha moment for you in this video. I intend that it was. And let me know too, how are you going to practice remembering I'm not changing out there. My techniques are not for changing out there. Out there is always changing, changing when I change in here. Or to say it better, out there never changes. I will experience a different parallel reality by changing me. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're going to remember this so that you don't slip back into thinking you're changing out there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.